Hey guys, you I am Link here, and welcome to Ultimate Iron Man Quick Tips Episode 1. In this episode, we will be going over crafting, a skill that Ultimate Iron Man seemed to have a bit trouble with in the beginning of the game. I will go through the requirements to get your crafting up as soon as possible. So here are the requirements. Now for the quest, you're going to need Ghost Ahoy. This also needs subquests like Priest Impero and Restless Ghost to be completed before you can do Ghost Ahoy. Now after you got Ghost Ahoy done, you need the level. Now you can do this at level 1, but the XP that you get at level 1 really isn't that great to be honest. I'd much rather you start at level 12 because you get a lot more XP per Molten Glass, and that works out in your favor quite a bit. So I'd say 12. Now you can quest up to 12, it's not that big of a deal. And for the items all you're going to need is 20k GP, I'll tell you what else to do with that 20k. You can do this with a lot less money, like you could do this with 5k and still get a little bit of crafting XP, but 20k will probably get you set and going to get you to a higher level than what you already are. So now I'm going to show you how to get to the place that we're going to go to. Now you can start from Canifus and work up your way there, or if you have Ghost Ahoy done, like I said, you should have with the requirements, then you can use the Ectophile. But let's say you are um, you don't have Ghost Ahoy done, but you have like 20 Ecto tokens so you can get into Port Phasmatis, which is where we're going to be. You're just going to run up through uh, Canifus, come over here, you'll see a farming patch, go over that, go through here, and now you're in Port Phasmatis, so just follow this trail up and you should be there. Now that we have the Canifus one done, let's work on with the uh, Ectofunctus, Ectofunctus, and that's literally just using your Ectofile to get there, and boom, you're in Port Phasmatis. So you can see how you save quite a bit of time with the Ectofile. Now we're going to go over the crafting method, so this is going to be very easy. Here are the charter ships right here. Now these charter ships sell sand and ash, this is what we're going to be buying. And you're also going to buy a glass blowing pipe. Now after you get the glass blowing pipe and a full inventory of sand and ash, make sure that you have a 1 to 1 ratio with the sand. So every, for every 1 bucket of sand that you have, you're going to want 1 ash. Now you're going to see this a little bit later when I demonstrate it, but i just like to say that now. And basically you're going to cross these docks here and then run over here, and right here is where a furnace is. Basically you're just going to use the sand on the furnace or the ash on the furnace and make a full inventory of molten glass. Now once you've done all that and you have your glass blowing pipe, we're now going to go back up to the charter ships, picked our wrong color here, but you're going to go up to here and then the charter ships back up to the charter ships and once you are blowing that glass while you're walking up to the charter ships you're going to sell whatever you are blowing to the charter ships since they act as like a general store almost and that's really it that's really quick crafting xp so now that we have all that done we can now just go over the method as a whole now so what you're going to do is you're going to trade these charter ship guys by a glass blowing pipe and then buy all the buckets of sand and ash that you can on this world now you may notice that a lot of people are buying these sand and ashes. It's because a lot of Iron Men make battle staves, and it really does affect, you know, us ultimates in a way because we're trying to also get crafting from this. So you have quite a few Iron Men bots just buying these buckets of sand and ash on every world, but it's not too big of a deal. You really get used to it. Now we're gonna buy one more of those and one more of these. I think I have a little bit more ash than sand, but now basically you're going to run all the way up to that furnace that I was talking about that's just right up here. You should see some people at it, so you can use that as sort of like a, a mini-map marker that you can click on, and basically just use the sand on the furnace and make molten glass. Now um, I explained that you could do this at level 1, and I'll just show you the XP difference and how much, oh, wow, okay. I, my maths were completely wrong there. It's obviously been a while since I've done this, but you're going to see the XP difference between level 1, level 12, also level 25, and 33, which is what I'm going to be going through right now. So now as you run back, you're going to want to use your pipe on there, and here's level 1. As you can see, we got 18 XP. But as you run back to the charter ships, make sure, make sure that you're blowing the glass as you run to save quite a bit of time, make it a little bit more efficient. Anyways, now I'm going to go through the XP that you get at different level 
Alright, so now that you went through the method, where it's at, where it is on the map, what you need, um, I'm going to go through the XP that is on each item that you can make. So as you saw, the first item that I made in the last clip was a beer glass. Uh, that is about 18 XP. So now we're going to use our glass blowing pipe and make a candle lantern. Now this is at level, I want to say like 5 or something. I don't know, look it up on the crafting level thing and then an oil lamp which is I think 23 and then a vial which is 33 I know that for a fact you can just see the difference in XP as you go along now this method continues to get good because the more you do it the, the higher crafting you get the wow I just screwed that up I'm still gonna keep going though the higher crafting that you get the higher level glass you can make which in turn gives you more XP as you can see that this uh, unpowered orb was 53 XP and then these lantern lenses are 55 XP. And I don't, I can't do Dorgishan light orbs, but these are at like 85 or something, or 87, I think. But those are quite high XP as well, so you get the point. It's better to do it at a later level than it is an early level, and you just get more XP per molten glass. And when it comes to bots buying out stores like sand and ash, it get, you really want the most XP per molten glass and i think 12 is in that good range for lower levels that want to get their crafting up to say like 30 for another quest or something who knows but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the guide i'll be seeing you guys later with a ultimate airman progress i believe it's progress six anyways peace